Daryl's has been around forever. It's been around for over 50 years. Still pretty much exactly the same. It is an authentic dive bar. It has the history, it has the wear and tear. There's two little foot marks over by the phone where somebody sat and talked on the phone probably for years. Wonderful space age lights. In the afternoon, it's the local regulars, but it kind of slowly progresses into kind of a, a live music venue. People here can rock the stage or simply play Pac-Man. Let's go to something a little bit more extreme, like a bike bar. We're at the Bethel Saloon, <laughs> only bike bar in town. People are like a family, honestly. It's fun. It is a piece of Port Orchard that's not going away. Many, many years ago, the police used to sit on the other side of the street. We'd roll the scooters in the bar and entertain the police until they left. It's a great place. It's not that scary place that people talk about for biker bars. What about something more chill, but still Northwest classic? Brick Saloon in Roslyn, Washington. It's uh, the oldest bar east of the Mississippi. It was built in 1889. Fun place to come hang out. People just looking for a good time. We have the spittoon races. That's always a good time. The basement can be interesting and scary. So what we got in here? We found this tombstone down here, and uh, there's no death date, so maybe it's still around. We also used to have the entrance to an old coal mining tunnel down here. These are the old doors for it. These are the old jail cells from the movie Runner Stumbles. Don't leave me here, though. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. Don't, hey, guys, Bye. Seriously, don't leave me here, though. All right, my friends, those are my picks. So party safe and cheers. I see why we call